the jungle is really noisy at night time. It is a beautiful morning here in the jungle and I slept like an absolute dream. I slept for a solid 10 hours. I went to bed at 6.30 and got up at... It's 5 in the morning now. The sun is just rising over the mountains back there. Breakfast is going. I'm in it to win it today. I'm starting to get used to this actually. It's quite a nice place, the jungle. I started off yesterday thinking what have I got myself into. But now that we've camped out next to a river, just chilled out, it's kind of cool. There's monkeys up in the tree over there. I, I wouldn't be able to film them because they're kind of so camouflaged and you kind of see a little tail here and a, and you definitely hear them. And there's so many sounds going off at one time. Yeah. It's almost like a barking in the background. It's a cool place. Okay, that's it. Leaving in the morning to hang in, which is the cave. It's literally about 30 minutes walk that way. Apparently it's really, really spectacular. It's the third largest cave in the world. The largest cave in the world is about a kilometer that way, which we can't go to. It's heavily restricted all right we're at the entrance now of hanging cave and the entrance is very small this is this is it but the huge part is just up there you, you don't really go in through there that's kind of almost a window into the cave so let's go hopefully this low light will be good enough all right, so as you can imagine, it's pretty dark in there. It can be kind of dangerous, so we've got to get kind of kitted up with our gloves for sharp rocks and helmets and lights and all that. So let's do this. Done. Rock and roll. Made it. Hung in cave. Massive window at the top there. Leads down to a beach where people are camping at the moment. As you can see, there's a little expedition there. How cool is this place? It's amazing. Let's go down. Yeah. Quite spectacular. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. And awe-inspiring. It's huge. The cabin is just... You could fit a football stadium in here quite easily. And now we have to go up there, which looks like it could be a lot of fun. Well, that's something special right there. What a view. And hopefully this gives you an understanding about how big the cave actually is. It still goes back many, many, how long? Kilometers? 1.5. 1.5 kilometers into the mountain. have been formed over like millions of years and it's taken us you know half an hour just to walk from the beginning all the way around to the top and
Oh. Well guys, this is the end of the road. The final point in our little expedition here. Juan, thank you so much. You've been amazing. Oxalis Tour Guide Guide, this is not a paid endorsement, but Oxalis are just phenomenal. If you want to come to Vietnam and do a cave tour, jungle camping, whatever it might be, it's an experience of a lifetime and they're the people clearly to do it with. Now it's just home. We walk home. So we walk back through the cave, to the village to have lunch. You know that, you saw it yesterday. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on this awesome journey. I'm gonna call it here. If you like what you see, guys, subscribe, like, share, go crazy. It takes a lot of effort to make these vlogs. How do they say goodbye in Vietnam? Tam. Tam. Tam? Tam. Goodbye. Tam Viet. Tam Viet.